The uh, bill took four more bits of wood. Actually, I took six. I'll tell Bill. I've got an idea. What an idea. Probably the, the best and most amazing idea in the whole world. Someone mentioned the other day, oh, the king of clickbait on, on YouTube. And I thought, that is, the stuff I use is tame as anything. But, that's clickbait title. But, oh, what an idea. Honestly, man, an idea is just, it's come to us last night. Phew. Huge thank you to everybody. Now I'm a, actually I'm a I'm a dwarf broad bean <laughs> supplier. <laughs> Listen, huge thank you. Honestly, I'm I'm stored off there now with broad beans. Some lovely kind people are sending them over, and we'll do some few things with them. But the beans that I've got in there, you know, one's gonna go there. One's gonna go there. Oh, this is the answer. Oh, look at this. This is the... You're coming up to the idea. Look at this, man. Honestly, middle of the night, middle of the night, planned and everything. I, I might need a little bit more execution, <laughs> but I'm going to put it right along the back, broad beans. So I'm going to secure bits of wood there on the back and then me, you know that nice wire I've got? do some kind of thing with that. That's the plan. It might not go exactly to, to, to shape. And I might as well, forgot, I've just walked past all the bloody gills, just break, all in black as well. Do you know why, do you know why you don't wear black next to bees and I'm like, because you look like a bear. That's right, that's what it is. You see those, these, I might have a few of these and like jamming as well. Happy VE day, victory in Europe. Yes, 75 years. God, I hope we never have anything like that again. But you know, wherever you are, I know it's kind of keen. I can get out in the garden, hopefully you'll, most of you can, but you know, stay, don't go socializing and everything like that. But have a great day, happy VE day. As you can see there, brought up the tools to, to have a little bit. And I actually got some, I got some color in the garden. I don't tell us what they are, we're just, on our weekly shop there, there was a little garden centre in, just past, if anyone's living around this area, just past Clean, just before the railway, <laughs> this is so personal, so individual, just past the real, no, just before the railway bridge, on the left hand side, Green, I think it's called Green Fingers, anyway, they're open for orders. And if you know the plant you want, they'll just come and get it and they'll hand it over the two metre rule. But I didn't know the plants I want, but I could see purple in the thing there. So we've got some, some. And what, what are they? I think they only last, you know, a season. But nice, man, nice little bit of colour there. Right. I need some... I'm all... I honestly, man, I'm like as high as a guy, man. It's... Well, it's 16 minutes past there now. I think I was just before seven when I got here. Right, I need some screws. That's what I need. <laughs> oh, that's an October, honestly, it's an October job. Right, I'll tell you what, it, it's not even worth you coming in here. It's not pretty. I had a look in Bill's hut the other day as well. It's as neat as a pin, man. God, I've got a measly, measly handful there. Do you know when I was building everything, I just had screws. It was just lovely to have screws upon screws. I've got loads of bloody flathead screwdrivers, but I think they're the bane of the bloody the world. I don't know who invented flathead screws. I just they're just foul, horrible things that should be all just smelted down and getting rid of. Let's see if I've got anything. I don't think I have, to be honest. I didn't fleece last night. It was only going down to nine, mind you. So I took a chance. You know, I had a lovely big bag of big ass screws, but I might have took them home. Yeah, oh man, here we'll go. These will do, these will do. I'll just be careful. Everything looking all right on the front. 
You know that one I little picked up? Actually, that was the one I picked off. Doesn't look very happy at all. <laughs> you know, I picked off plant and put in water. But that one, so it may come, that one. I can't remember what that was, but it was an old one I'd picked up. So, me vines are looking, they ain't looking pretty at all, to be honest. Mm. I don't know, I don't know what to do with them, to be honest. Anyway, I've got, I've got things to do, man, Thing, things to do, people to see, places to go, the most exciting thing in the world to build. I mean, I can come back up, but at this moment, I've got to make every screw count. <laughs> now, I know they'll go like higher, and I might just clip them, or they might just hang over and just let them go. Right, I'm going to measure, like say, eight inches down, put a line, and then they're all going eight inches down. I need more screws. Right, I think I've got some screws. I've had a little good rummage around there. But what I did find as well, and only probably Steve would know this, was for the grapes. They're in kind of metal. I've got about, I think, eight or ten of these metal L brackets, which are going to go into me on my frame to hold the the grapevine. Once, once I actually can not kill one. It's like a dog's leg. Right over there, man, I wear. Oh, I gotta get me spirit level and everything. You know, it's a great idea, but like putting it in, it's going like one of those bills, you know what I mean? Where it's just, I don't think I've got my spirit level here neither. Oh, I was full of get up and go, man. Not there. Oh, I'm guessing it. Oh, bloody hell, man. We covered in bloody. Be covered in beans, man, soon. Right. I'll move that one because you can see that one really bad. <laughs> Hurts me all, my ear. I'll not lie. That, I could actually bang them in with a hammer, but that might even work hurt harder. Just pop a few more pills. <laughs> there you go. Can you see I'm, I'm alright with that? Alright. That's eyesight level as well. What I say? I've put two in the centre, kind of a big support, but now, and I'll just have it on silent, because there will be some words, I know that. I'm going to try and get some big stakes out of there. Right. <laughs> I'll play some nice, common music, but trust us, <laughs> it'll be anything but calm. That was way easier. There wasn't even a sweat. They just slid. How many times does that happen where they just slide out? Now, if you like this little YouTube channel, do think about subscribing. That would be fantastic. It's a real allotment and I come up as much as I can. And it'd be just nice to bring you along on the journey. We get some highs and we get some lows. We get a lot of failures, but it's nice just to follow along and see what happens. Look after yourself and do think about subscribing and little thumbs up. Three's gonna have to do. Well, I say one there, one there, and one in the middle. Yeah. There we go. Oh, looking all right, looking all right. I'm not sure whether to use my string or my wire. I normally have, you know that, but I haven't got enough of it. You know that kind of plastic I don't know, it's hard to see. I'm not going near the bees. You know, the square little, like a little inch, two inch square plastic. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'll start off with wire, maybe do three rows of wire and then see what, what's after that. Man, that hurts so much. Now I've got two of these things, I forget what they're called. I've only got two left. I used them for all the, the wire in there. So I can use one on, you know, like two. So I love this wire as well, mind you. 
I don't want it too tight or it'll, it'll snap me wood, but you know what I mean, you get the idea. First line of wire in there. I don't know, these are great little things, probably took way longer. I had it the wrong way around when I opened it up. So there was no kind of <laughs> room to tension it. Right, now where? I'm just pottering about, honestly, it's just off the cuff. I haven't really thought the hard logistics of it. There, I've got three on there. Now, I haven't done the top one as tight. I'm going to try in little, you know, like the U-shaped nails, knock a few of them in, or if not, because it might be, them ones might be a little bit wobbly, a little bit of just cable tying some of it to take the, the tension off, because I don't want to put all the way on these two end ones. I haven't planned this very well. Do you want to see a hammer? It's the only hammer I can find. Oh, oh man. So I'm gonna knock them in. See how they're going about? I forget what they're called. What they're called them. If I can't do it, I'll just go home, have some breakfast and come back up. Before I go any further, I'm gonna have a, a mid-plan change. I'm gonna try and pile drive a thicker one. Look, can you see that? I don't know if it's, if it's, it's not my angle. I'm just pulling, that ten, and that's not that. It's, it seems to be strong wood. But I might just put another one in and put the whole pressure on this one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cable tie some of them because and I'll come back. I kind of bang with that shoulder, but I'm going to cable tie some and have me breakfast. That's what I'm going to do. Lads getting hungry. So I'm back. A breakfast of paracetamols and orange juice. The breakfast of kings and queens. <laughs> right. And I found some more screws. So let's get in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to put three more wires over along which is use up the other one and yeah i think so i tried to get my son really to come up but to be honest, although they're, they're all off school and that he's got like a load of maths homework so mum says i better not do doing his maths so i think i'm just gonna cable tie you know what i mean it's just like cable tie them for the time being to be honest since i put these ones in and the one down there just went rigid so i would have liked to have nipped them in but you know what i mean because that's that's a great one that one but anyway we'll crack on what i found is a tip you know if you haven't got any of these things that ratchet it tight is when i'm using these little eyelet things is put it in tight but not too tight then you've got about a good half inch you can kind of tighten it right in on either end and it seems to work just as well I hope they have one second I've only got two left but I only need two oh, that's gardening for you again well that's a good job done to be honest that's you know when you have these dreams on the night time there you go I haven't painted them yet <laughs> whether I'll get round to it I don't know but like I say I'm not so sure what to do at the top do I just let them overhang and dry out or to take them out even higher if i get higher then it's obviously harder to pick if i was going to pick them but that that'll do me nicely that's what you do when you have dreams look after yourself take good care